In today's video, we're going to talk about the causes, prevention, and cure of rabbit snuffles. Nobody wants their pet rabbits to get sick. It's a sad thing to see your beloved bunny feeling sick and experiencing pain. Just like any other creature, there are times when rabbits acquire certain kinds of diseases. One of the most common diseases that can strike our cute rabbits is snuffles. It's so common that even experienced rabbit breeders have dealt with this disease. Snuffle is a familiar disease that can destroy your rabbit's health. Always remember that conducting online research is essential for raising rabbits. Part of the care that we provide our pets is learning how to treat and prevent diseases like snuffles. We want to ensure that our pet remains happy and healthy. It's also necessary that we know what steps to take to prevent any sickness or diseases that can cause pain and harm to our pets. Rabbit Snuffles It's a life-threatening disease that can kill your pet. It's also very contagious, and for this reason, we must know how to combat it properly. Rabbit snuffles can affect not only the eyes and ears of your rabbit but also other organs. Early detection is crucial to ensure that our rabbit will be able to survive. If left untreated, snuffles can become fatal and chronic. And since it's contagious, there's a high probability that other rabbits may also acquire the disease. We must be able to know and identify diseases. For us to detect it, we need to know the symptoms. Also known as pastorellosis, the symptoms of snuffles can sometimes mimic that of respiratory diseases. It can lead to blindness, abscesses, and destruction of the reproductive organ. Causes and Symptoms of Rabbit Snuffles The diseases are caused by bacteria called bacterium pastorellosis. This bacteria can be found in the rabbit's body or encounters from other pets. This naturally occurring bacterium is highly contagious, and it's very easy for one rabbit to infect other rabbits. You do note, though, that there are rabbits out there that are immune to the mentioned bacterium. When a rabbit is hit by snuffles, you'll notice that its eyes become watery, and they experience runny nose and sneezing. Runny eyes happen since their tear ducts are clogged by the discharges, the same reason why they experience runny nose and sneezing. Head tilting also happens, and this is caused by neurological damage. Because of the neurological damage, the rabbit develops a head tilt. Skin sores and matted fur is can also be observed. Matted fur happens when your pet rubs its nose, and the discharges mat their fur. Diagnosis of Rabbit Snuffles After seeing symptoms of snuffles, the most important thing that you need to do is to send your rabbit to a veterinarian. Make sure that you know a reliable and experienced vet who is knowledgeable when it comes to treating snuffles. You can also ask for tips or advice from fellow rabbit breeders or raisers who know a reputable veterinarian in your area. What can you expect from the veterinarian? The vet will ask you some questions regarding what signs and symptoms you've noticed. It's also common for them to ask you how long have you noticed these symptoms and if your pet has been around other animals that have appeared to have similar symptoms. This is why we encourage you to note the behavior and mood of your rabbit from time to time. The vet will then conduct a physical examination on your rabbit. This is done to identify any obvious signs and causes for your rabbit snuffles. The vet may want to rule out enclosure, diet, and supplements as the culprits of the signs and symptoms. Blood work may also be conducted and so gathering samples of any discharge is to be expected. To confirm whether or not your rabbit has pastorella or snuffle, these tests must be conducted. It's also not surprising if the vet may go over the health history of your rabbit. Although this is not a guarantee that the vet will be able to determine the specific bacteria. There are also instances when the veterinarian will ask your permission to proceed to image tests or tools such as x-rays to determine whether or not your rabbit has snuffles. Sanitation since snuffles are very contagious, we must prevent them from happening. Also, these diseases can be very difficult to treat. As they always say, prevention is always better than cure. The good news is, there are things that you can do to prevent your beloved pets from acquiring snuffles. One of the most important things that you need to do is to ensure that you follow strict sanitation. As much as possible, you want to make sure that the cage or enclosure is clean. Be sure that you clean the cage regularly. Use safe sanitizers when cleaning the rabbit hutch. Cleaning the area every day is recommended to prevent diseases. You should also make sure that you clean their urine and soiled bedding. Replace the bedding as often as possible. Remember that the dirtier the rabbit cage is, the higher the chances of developing snuffles. Also, clean the urine regularly since it contains ammonia, and inhaling ammonia can ruin the health of your rabbit. Comfortable Habitat Aside from making sure that you clean the habitat regularly, you should also make sure that you provide them a comfortable environment. As much as possible, you want your rabbits to live a happy and stress-free life. Reducing your rabbit stress means that you are also reducing the risk of developing rabbit snuffles. Bear in mind that these species are prone to stress, and whenever they are stressed out, 
they release stress hormones like cortisol and cortisol to suppress their immune system. When it comes to providing your pet a comfortable environment, it's very important that you not only clean their cage, but you should also make sure that you keep them at the right temperature. The cage or enclosure should not be too hot nor too cold. It's also advisable that you keep the rabbit's cage away from drafts and sun. Of course, be sure as well that you feed them with a healthy balanced diet. Cure for Snuffles Veterinarians are known to treat snuffles using antibiotics. Antibiotics are given to the pet that has acquired snuffles, and this treatment can last from 15 to 30 days. The most common antibiotics that vets use are ciprofloxacin, trimethoprim sulfa, and enrofloxacin. Also, vets may supplement good or beneficial bacteria during medication since it aids in digestion. Also, you must choose the right veterinarian who can provide outstanding veterinary guidance. The cure or medication also depends on the severity of the diseases. If it's just a mild case, and the immune system of the rabbit is strong, then recovery without treatment is possible. However, if the diseases are strong or aggressive and the animal has a weak immune system, then serious treatment such as antibiotics is essential. Also, keep in mind that prevention and early detection are recommended than treatment. Keep them away from other rabbits to reduce the chances of spreading snuffles or any other diseases. Quarantine is very important if you're buying or introducing a new rabbit. The quarantine period should last about 3 to 4 days. Also, if you think that the new rabbit is sickly, then the best thing that you can do is to go to a veterinarian and ask the professional if the new rabbit needs special care and treatment. Snuffles is a serious disease, and therefore, we need to treat them seriously as well. Knowing what to observe and knowing what to do to prevent it is crucial. We have to make sure that we conduct online research. It's also important that we listen to what others have to say. Asking for tips and pieces of advice from our friends, families, or fellow rabbit breeders who have rabbits that have been infected with snuffles before is also beneficial. Doing online research is the key to preventing rabbit snuffles. And while you're doing online research, be sure that you always check the reliability of the information. Always verify whether or not the information that we've read is indeed true. Also, when looking for a veterinarian, be sure that he or she has adequate experience when it comes to treating rabbit snuffles. Keep in mind that not all veterinarians are good at treating certain kinds of diseases. This is why we should always gather more information about their reputation, credentials, and background history. By doing these things, we are helping our beloved pets live happy, comfortable, and healthy lives. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.